Hello friends, in this video we will cover how to set up Python development environment in Atom Editor. So first we need to install Python. So you can go to this python.org and download uh, Python. So latest version is Python 3.7.3. And this is the python 4 windows you can click here and download the exe file and install it i, al I already installed python 3 and let me open command prompt and type python you can see i have installed python 3.7.2 So we have to install couple of packages in Atom Editor to set up Python development environment. Click on this file, then click on settings, then click on install and then search for Python. And here you can see uh, ID Python Python language support for Atom ID. So we need to install this. Just click on this install button. In Atom Editor, when you install a package, actually it gets installed in this path in your user folder dot atom packages. You can see here it has installed ID Python. If you want to know more details about this ID Python and its configuration and dependencies, just click here and you can just scroll down. So you can see all the information here and in here you can see the readme file so in readme file you can see how to install and how to set up this only installation will help you but you have to configure it actually to make it working we need to install this python language server then we need to install Atom ID UI and ID Python. So these three things uh, we need to install. So first, let me install this. Um, what is that? Okay, Python language server. The same thing. Same thing you can see in the GitHub uh, repository of this Python ID. You can just click on this uh, link. It will open the source code of this Python ID hyphen Python package. Here you can see the source code in GitHub. And if you scroll down, here you can find the readme. And from here also you can configure it. So first let me execute this command and install Python language server. And here you can see the requirements. It required ID Python, Python language server, and Atom ID UI. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Just copy it and paste it in the command prompt and enter. It's saying you are using pip version 18. However, 19.1 is available you have to run this command so let me copy it and execute it now i am upgrading pip from 18.1 to 19.1 okay upgrade completed now i can run i, I can install python language server using this command just execute it so it's saying invalid requirement. So you have to execute it. Don't use any single code. So just execute like this. 
Python hyphen m pip install Python hyphen language server. So that is set up. Okay, now I have successfully installed Python language server. So next I am going to install Atom ID UI. So this I am going to install using APM. APM means Atom Package Manager. So just run it, paste it here. You can see that actually it's installing this Atom ID UI in this path. Your user folder dot atom packages. Okay, instruction completed. Next, we can install this um, ID Python. Just copy this. It's also installing the same path. Okay, check okay. completed. Now we are ready. I think we have fully installed this ID Python. You can see that actually this Python ID Python providing these features. It will provide uh, all this. It, it also installed this uh, JD for completions, definitions, and ROP for completions and renaming, five flex, five lint. By code style so all this is coming as part of this ID Python package so you don't need to install a, any separate package for this type of thing and you can also manage each plugins like auto puppet you can enable disable jd completions you can enable disable and each thing you can configure it here by code style enable disable and by flex enable disable and you can you see all this configurable so all these features are configurable okay you can enable or disable it just go to the documentation of this id python just click here in packages just click here you can see the documentation and settings you can just go through that Let me check whether auto completion is working or not. Let me import one module OS OS dot C. It's working. Import sys sys dot So you just need to only install only one package ID Python. Everything is already a part of that Python and uh, everything which uh, required for your uh, development is already included in that ID Python package. This ID hyphen Python package does not have an option to execute a Python file. So for that we need to install another package. It's called atom hyphen python hyphen run. Just to install it. Okay, 
okay instruction completed now let me go to the packages so under community packages you can see that I have installed these packages id python atom id ui and atom python run only three packages only these three packages is enough to set up python development environment in atom editor so let me run one program for example this hello world program so we can run this program using we just press f5 it will execute it because we have installed atom python run as per Python, atom python run as per their documentation we just need to press f5 if we scroll down just click on item python run so here you can see under settings you can see plus f5 when you press f5 it run the python file using python space file name command you can see here let me try this just press open the file which you want to execute then press f5 you can see the output here hello world and all other features like auto completion formatting and all other things are provided by uh, this package id python we already seen it these features are provided by id python package so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel please like and share the video if you have any doubt please comment